Hey guys, um, <laughs> um, so, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but, uh, just, uh, telling you guys, I did get my 3850, if you guys have been sort of worried about that, that I've made a video, um, just lots of things to do, summer break, um, just sitting in my house, um, <laughs> pretty much, um, did a few computer camps, but those really didn't teach me anything, so, um, Anyway, my 3850 runs flawlessly, if you guys are just wondering. Um, and if you guys do want this card, sorry, but, I mean, they deactivated and sold out on Newegg. They sold out and then deactivated it. Um, so, kind of aggravates me because on all the other websites that I've been to, they sell it for, like, $120 for 256 megabyte edition. I've got the 512, and it was $69.99. Uh, and on the other side, it's 120, which is way overpriced. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, pretty much, I'm gonna try not to say, shake the camera around as much as I usually do, because I sort of have a problem with uh, hand gestures. So, um, go ahead and uh, show you some things real quick. I did order all of the parts for switch swapping computers. Uh, that I'm pretty sure I told you guys about um, not too long ago. So, hold on. If I shake the camera too much, then, well, I guess you'll just have to deal with that. But, okay, so I got a Rosewill uh, R20 or 222, whatever. $24.99 is for my dad. Um, so, and then the rest is pretty much mine. So, Biostar T Force TA 70, 790GX. Um, which I'm going to be using uh, for AM2 Plus for my AMD Athlon 64X2 7850 um, Kuma, I mean Black Edition Kuma, sorry, um, which is great bang for the buck. Um, I don't even know why I got this Intel Pinning 4 in the first place. Um, low price, I guess, but definitely not worth it. Um, so, and this is a dual core. I don't need a triple or a quad because I'm not going to be doing serious video editing or, uh, uh, I mean, no games really utilize all four cores, so it's kind of pointless to get a quad core if you don't do, like, uh, major editing, uh, game designing or anything like that. So, don't just get one because everyone else is getting one. Try and make yourself look cool. Just get it if you need it. Um, so... Uh, G skill four gigabyte, um, so two two sticks of two gigs. Um, Western Digital for my dad. It's three hundred twenty gigabyte uh, keyboard from Logitech. Uh, Arctic Silver Five Thermal Compound. Uh, I've heard that really is is a good thermal compound for processors. Keeps it really cool. Um, so then a Cooler Master R four uh, hundred twenty millimeter fan. Uh, same one here, except with uh, LED, red LEDs in it. A Rosewell RCX Z940 uh, 92mm uh, processor fan. Uh, I'm just praying to God that it'll actually fit in this case, because this case is not exactly the biggest case in the world. So, it's a mid-tower, but it's still kind of tiny. Um, so, and then a 80mm uh, Rosewell fan and a anti-static um, strap, or wrist strap, so I did not use that when I was building this, and it, everything works fine, I just don't want to risk something not working, or sh um, shorting something when I get this stuff, so yeah. Um, so just to move on to the uh, 3050, if you guys want to know about that a little bit more, uh, it runs fine, uh, I've had no problems with it since the day I installed it, um, no problems, I've had it running for about, you know, two months, uh, the most I've ever kept my computer on, uh, without turning it off is about three days, I think, I don't like to keep my computer on it, especially when I go to sleep, the lights get pretty annoying, um, so, I only keep it on if I'm downloading something, and it takes a long time for it to, uh, finish, so, go ahead and open up Cal's Control Center. Um, the temperature is a little bit higher than what it used to be because, and I don't have room tuner on this yet, I still need to get it, but 
Uh, it's 49 right now on idle, um, which I don't think is too good. Um, so I'm going to get Rivet, Rivet Tuner, uh, but when I had it, I cranked the uh, speed up to 65%, stayed up. I mean, the uh, on idle, it was at like 35 degrees Celsius, which is really good. Uh, I think the highest it ever got to was 50 when uh, playing Crisis. Um, Crisis Forehead. Uh, I don't have Crisis at the moment, but I still need to get that. Uh, but, yeah, it runs all of my games flawlessly. No lag, no speed, no bumps or anything. Um, except for Crisis Forehead. So, uh, it'll run faster with a, a dual core processor, uh, just to uh, process things a little bit faster. So, pretty much, if I got an Intel system and NVIDIA, uh, this price would probably be about, I don't know, 550 uh, something like that. Because Intel processors are just too much for me, especially a dual core. Um, it's just, I don't know, I don't like them that much. Um, so, that's really it that I can think of. If there's anything that you guys uh, th think that I missed or something that you want to know, leave a comment. I'll try to make a video or just reply to your uh, comment. And, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot. Um, I'm building my dad a computer, so they're going to be paying me to do that. So, after that, um, I'm going to be getting... I'm going to be getting a, a Cooler Master Storm Scout, uh, so it's definitely a lot better than the one that I have right now. Uh, it's not $30, um, which is what I got this one at, so um, it's definitely bigger and definitely a lot better looking, uh, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be going to high school uh, next year or so, um, and the school provides LAN parties about, I think, like, four times a year or something like that. So, sort of want a LAN party, bot, or a LAN party um, uh, safe case, I guess. This is actually safe for LAN parties. You can uh, get your, it's got a, a, or a cable safety thing on it, uh, keep you from taking your USB plugs and stuff. Um, so, let's see. Uh, this case has a lot more fans. I can put a lot more fans in it, and just a lot better airflow in it, which will keep my uh, well, keep everything cool and looking cool. So, uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna be getting another one of the uh, Cooler Master fans with it. Uh, so a total of like I think six fans uh, once it's all totaled up. Uh, yeah, six fans in the case. One, two, three. No, five. Yeah, five fans in there. Uh, so definitely, uh, I'll get some good airflow and some good temperatures. My friend's over there playing Polo 3, and uh, pretty exciting. So, yeah, I think that's really it. Just got finished eating some McAllister. It's not. It's pretty delicious. So, yeah. Um, and one thing, once I do get done with building and replacing like pretty much everything in this computer, uh, I will be showing some videos of R Factor. If you guys don't know it, it's a uh, racing game. Uh, I've been uh, I've been into drifting for like about I think two years now. Uh, I I was doing it on um, Forza 2 for a while. Got fed up with that game. It's pretty old, uh, but. I uh, found this really, really old uh, Xbox, original Xbox uh, controller from like years ago. Uh, I, it's I found it in my closet. I guess I tried to paint it. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I sort of hacked it up a little bit, got it to work on my computer. Uh, I wired it so that it worked. It turn. Uh, I wired a USB to it, so it now works on here. Uh, not very good. It's definitely not as good as some other good wheels out there that I'll be getting kind of soon. So, yeah, once I get everything up and running, I guess, or I'll just show some unbox unboxing videos of the parts when I get them. I should be getting them either uh, on Monday or Tuesday. Today is Friday, so, yeah, I think that's really it, and uh, talk to you guys later.
Peace.